you know, namaste. I want people to understand that satsang happens everywhere. It's not a planned event, mm -hmm. especially not here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe with other teachers it is, you know, they have the big stage and they have the big, you know, thing and they come out and the big hoopla and they give their talk on Advaita or whatever. But there's no, no give and take, you know, mm -hmm. there. It's not too much. It's just very too much manufactured. You want to let Miss Roddy in because she's, uh, yeah, she's having an opinion <laughs> oh yeah yeah no she's she is like no this is yeah okay miss roddy okay all Into right <laughs> yeah miss roddy is yeah she's, <laughs> she's, she's a part of it she she likes to be a part of it yes and she says i'll only be ignored for so long and then that's it you know i have to have my time so we'll let miss roddy come in and have her time but yeah satsang happens anywhere mm -hmm. It, it can happen in the middle of the restaurant. It can happen in the middle of the car driving. Most, uh, a lot of the great instruction comes when we're driving in the car, you know, mm -hmm. and it just comes out. So yeah, no, it doesn't mean that, you know, it's only here where one comes out on a stage and comes out with the topic and mm -hmm. gives the talk of the day and that, that doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Satsang is association with truth. Okay, mm -hmm. truth is in every moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's, you know, let's keep it spontaneous. Let's mm -hmm. keep it real. Mm -hmm. I want it to be real. I want people to come and see what it is, what the guru's life is like. And you'll find out it's not different from your own lives. Right. You know, there's no some big exalted thing. We're not floating off the ground. <laughs> right. You're drinking you know? Starbucks coffee. I'm drinking <laughs> Starbucks coffee. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's pretty it's exalting. there. You got very exalted. Yeah. Yeah. Exalting thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. the the life of realized beings. You're not going to see any different from the life of mm -hmm. anyone else, except for we don't get hung up on this stuff. Yeah. If you're there long enough, you find that we just really go with the flow. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see that things are really momentary. Mm -hmm. And so that's the value. I tell anybody, if you're going to look for a guru, find one where you can have interaction <coughs> with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look great when they come out and they, you know, just come in a big satsang hall and give a presentation for an hour. And then you only get to see them in retreats. And it's all, again, very manufactured, mm -hmm. and you don't really get to have a genuine conversation with them. Right. It's, it's a big show. Now, people love the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, enjoy the show. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Osho was very good at giving a show. People enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Fed the ego. Mm -hmm. You know, people loved that. Mm -hmm. They heard what they wanted to hear and were told you're very spiritual, and, you know, mm -hmm. they liked that. But... I don't want to give the show. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give the reality. Right. Okay? I want people to know the reality because the reality is wonderful as it is. Mm -hmm. That it's life. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's life. And anybody can reach realization mm -hmm. because it's who and what you are underneath that facade mm -hmm. that one has developed through the years mm -hmm. okay yeah so i want people yeah, to yeah. get that yeah because the tendency has been to put gurus on this pedestal and oh no mm -hmm. they came from a spiritual family they came from this that mm -hmm. i can never reach there it's impossible i have to do my work you yeah. know i can't go out and live in a cave i can't go out and live in it does you know. seem very out of reach when you look at it like that and it, you know it's this is so much more real just being able to spontaneously ask questions and then have them answered right as they're coming up right you know? and this and is this is what i want i want it to be genuine i want it to be real and it used to be this way it used to be that the students would come and live with the guru. It used to be one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. This was the traditional system in, in India, okay? But now it's come where everybody wants to be a showman and they want to be a visual world guru. 
and I want to talk to huge masses of people and then I can change the world. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to change it because what they're doing when they're talking, they're talking to personas and each one is in their own encapsulated little world, right. hearing it is a different thing. I can say the same thing and three people will hear it in three different ways and catch different things out of it. Mm -hmm. And in order to really get people to make progress, you have to know them. You have to see their sticking points. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be able to go in and say, wait a minute, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, this, this direction is going to take you nowhere. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to come to a, an ability to have great communication, okay? Mm -hmm. So that these, like all these ideas you had that we just went through and when started to talk about, they could be driving you for a long time. Right, yeah. Okay? So this is the value of satsang. The value of satsang is to get rid of that ignorance the unknowing doesn't mean that somebody's ignorant and stupid. It just means that they just don't know what is there and they're running on Maya or false assumptions. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want to get rid of the Maya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get rid of the false assumptions. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's important to get rid of the false assumptions. <laughs> and to find out just what is really going on, okay? So this is the value of satsang, okay? Yeah, it's great to hear these wonderful speeches. Mm -hmm. They can be heart-stirring, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the end, the best satsang is to get rid of the assumed notions that are driving one right. and that are not beneficial to one's path. Mm -hmm. So this is why I want to maintain this very uh, ground, ground level type of a thing. I don't want a huge organization like that. I want it to remain in the simplicity. And why we have two Satgurus and three sages that are already realized and people can have that expression with them. Mm -hmm. You can talk one-to-one -one with one that's actually there mm -hmm. versus one that's giving out the party line. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. so incredibly <laughs> helpful. You know, they have been so helpful. They can you be know? extremely yeah. helpful. And you'll find out whether I'm talking or whether they're talking, you'll get the same There's information. No there yeah. is no There's difference. No difference. There, yeah. How can there be a difference how can there be a difference when it's coming from the one ground of being, right. that one consciousness? Mm -hmm. And this is the telling point whether somebody is within realization or not, you know? If they're in realization, they're going to have that same consciousness, that be in that one reality, mm -hmm. okay? And that one reality is not going to be different. And so you will see that they will say exactly the same things. Mm -hmm. And you can wo watch the postings of these people. And when you see when realization takes place, their writings will make a definite shift immediately. And it will not veer from that, from that point. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is. It's totally day and night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be between. You, yeah, you can definitely see it. It's been very weird to watch, because we had four people, five people within like two months, and. All right, we have to cut it right here for a minute. It because we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, four or five people entered realization and you can see definitely the difference between night and day with their posting. And it doesn't veer from that point mm -hmm. because the consciousness has gone through an absolute shift. Right. Okay? 
So we have to cut mm -hmm. this. We're at 10 minutes. Namaste. Namaste. We may continue on. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs>